for us as a group, but for us as individuals. Is there something that you need to tell me? What up, y'all? This is your boy Ace here, and welcome to After News Delight. Man, oh man, uh, I usually don't uh, upload SmackDown this early, so y'all got a treat for me, man. Uh, <laughs> so, we're going to do Judgment Day, then we're going to talk about EO, and we're going to talk about uh, Jay Cargill, so... Uh, I think we're gonna do. I think we're gonna do Jay Cargill next, and we're gonna do EO at the end with Bailey. So, I want to start with Judgment Day because this a this there's quite a bit of things to go over with this. This is a new development with uh, Judgment Day right now. Um, this is the first time I've really seen them have some like real serious dissension where I think they're headed for a breakup as a group. Uh, it seems to be that the writing is on the wall with these guys. Um, and I think it could be a good direction to maybe start separating some of them, but not getting rid of Judgment Day as a as a faction. Like keep it alive, but put some new members in it. Um, sort of like what they've been doing with Damage Control. Kind of they mixed it up a little bit, and now I see, I think Damage Control is working a lot better than it was when it was just Bailey, Dakota, and um, EO. You know what I'm saying? I think it's working better with the Kabuki Warriors. Um, so it all kind of started earlier tonight. So we saw that Judgment Day was there. They was keeping an eye on the two tag team matches, uh, the Street Profits. Then there was Austin Theory and Grayson Waller who actually uh, advanced to uh, punch the ticket to that six-man ladder match. I don't know if it's going to be an eight-man ladder match, but I think it's a six-man or six-team ladder match right now with Austin Theory and Grayson Waller getting the win over the Street Profits. And then uh, because of carrying cross <laughs> beating up, giving Bobby Lashley the beast backstage and be fab. I think uh, Scarlett got be fab backstage. And then uh, what was the other one? What was the other match? Oh, uh, New Cash Republics, uh, Tyler Bate and P. Dunn uh, beat Angel and Humberto uh, later on to uh, get into that match. So anyways, what basically happened was Santos wanted to thank Dom for having their back last week. So Dom came out and, you know, he was celebrating with uh, Santos and uh, Santos and uh, Legado del Fantasma, right? So he basically got him out there and, you know, Dom, as usual, couldn't really get a word in because the crowd was booing him. And then that's when Ray came out. Ray came out to challenge Dom. And, uh, you know, he presented Dragon Lee as the new fifth member of the LWO. So that was interesting. That was interesting. Um, and I'm guessing, but right now, as it stands, if they include the woman, it would be a six on five right now. Unless Legato Del Fantasma could get another member, it's a six on five. So we knew Ray and Dominic would more than likely have a match against each other, but it won't be a singles match like it was last year. And that match was lit last year. I looked, that was one of the funnest moments of WrestleMania last year was that match. Um, but we knew it was probably going to include everybody. So we're going to get some type of tag team match at WrestleMania. I don't know if they're going to do it in the pre-show. They'll probably do it in the pre-show. Um, but it's definitely going to be on the card for WrestleMania uh, with these with these 11 people. If they include the women, it's nine. So um, maybe Legato Del Fantasma finds one more member. Uh, we'll see what happens. But So that got the Judgment Day thinking about a few things, right? So Dom comes back to the backstage, and he, you know, he got wiped out by Ray Mysterio's group, uh, LWO. And uh, Dragon Lee and stuff like that. And Judge Day was caught off guard by Dom actually joining Santos. Like, where is his allegiance at? So this got me thinking about something. Before we move on to what Rio was talking about with Damian Priest, because that's what this main video is mainly about. I want to talk about Dom real quick. I think that would be a nice move to actually put Dom in Le Legato Del Fantasma. I think that's a better fit for him and his character going forward. Um... I, I definitely think it's, I think I, I think it's a good fit. I like Dom with Santos. I think that's a power group. I think he makes them a little bit more stronger because they've already kind of uh, done some better things by putting Alessio Lopez in the group as well. I think if you just put Dom in there, man, that'll really get them boys cooking, bro. 
That'll get them boys cooking, bro. I, I think Dom will be a good fit over there. So you can move Dom out. I know that's going to kind of mess up the whole thing between Dom and Rhea. They've had that little relationship going on. But I don't think Rhea needs Dom anymore. I don't think Dom needs Rhea anymore. Uh, I think you could go on ahead and break that up at the WrestleMania and have Dom join Legato Del Fantasma. Maybe they, you know, give give Ray, uh, Dom the beats on his way out of there or something like that. Um... And then this was the other thing. So Damien backstage, man, started talking about how everyone's got to look out for themselves or whatever. And then Rhea kind of got upset about that. Like, you, you implying something, Damien? Like, what are you implying here? Like, it sounds like Damien. See, I think Judgment Day is going to drop the titles in that, that ladder match, by the way. I think somebody else is going to get them. Damien's going to start focusing on that money in the bank because he still got it, by the way. He needs to cash that boy in. And I was talking about that, I think, in my last Damien Priest video. So if y'all look on my channel, go to my last Damien Priest video. I was talking more in depth about the him cashing that in in that video. I won't go over here, but uh, so make sure y'all go to that video. But Damien Wright, it sounds like he wants to go his own way. You know what I'm saying? It sounds like he's he's ready to go his own way, and Rhea was caught off guard by that. So, what I'm starting to think, this is, we're looking at the beginning of the breakup of Judgment Day. Like, I think Judgment Day is about to break up. Um, now, I don't know what direction they're going to go in. See, that's the tricky thing about their breakup. I don't know what they're going to do as far as um, trying to figure out what they're going to do as far as... Um, fixing a group or whatever i i've been saying this before why don't you do this okay maybe give the group to finn balor give it you know let finn balor keep the group finn balor jd they become the new leaders of judgment day um and they start recruiting some new members then Rhea leads the group as well and Rhea, um damien goes by himself damien damien could stay in judgment day as well i mean i think you could continue that but i think you have Rhea leave the group because she really hadn't been with him too much in the last few months to be honest with y'all like she hadn't really been hanging out with him that much i will have Rhea leave Rhea sets up her own group she gets some younger girls from nxt i've been saying this for a while have her go down there maybe recruit tatum paxley or something like that uh turn liar valkyria heel have her get her or maybe even roxanne perez Get that going and have Rhea get some younger girls. Have her go back down to NXT and recruit some younger girls to put in to Judgment Day. You got Candice LeRae, who's a heel now. You can have her join the group. Indy Hartwell, if you want to go in that direction, she could join the group as well. You got a lot of different things you could do. So you could do an all-women's um, Judgment Day type of group with Rhea. I think that'd be pretty cool. That'd be pretty dope. What if you put Alexa Bliss in there? Because Alexa Bliss is supposed to be coming back. And she can be a heel this time. And you put her in that group as well. I mean, you got, man. And that'd be good for, like, if we get, like, an Alexa Bliss and uh, Liv Morgan type rivalry going on, man. Oh, that'd be lit. That'd be lit. This, bro, I know y'all shaking in y'all boots listening to this video, man. I'm going to let y'all sleep on that because we're going to talk about more about that. We probably going to have to do a separate video about this after WrestleMania, bro. Um, and really, I'm going I'm to probably do a separate video on it. I'm going to do a separate video on it after sometime after WrestleMania. Um, I'm gonna really go into some, some uh, specifics about it, man. Um, but let me get y'all thoughts on this for right now, man, because it's a lot to talk about. Definitely want to hear from y'all in the comment section. Uh, don't shy away. Make sure y'all comment. I would, th this is the one, this is one of those videos where I really want to hear y'all comments, man. So if you listen to this video, don't just leave. Make sure y'all put y'all comments in there, man. Cause I know y'all got a lot to say, man. Um, cause we could talk about down. We could talk about uh, what they should do with Damien, talk about Judgment Day, talk about Rhea. It's a lot to go over, man. So this is one of the reasons why I put this video out early, too, because I wanted to put my thoughts out there a little earlier than I usually do, man. So make sure y'all go to that, man. Give me your thoughts, man. Uh, give this video a like, share, subscribe. We're going to talk about Jay Cargill next. Thank y'all for watching this one. After news, the like.